All right, we're going to be looking at this uh, IDE modded Dreamcast. This is a PAL Dreamcast. Um, it's been fitted with Dream ID Reborn at the back there. You can see I cut a hole in the case for the header to come through. And these two cables here are 5 volts to power the compact flash adapter. I haven't screwed the case down yet, but I will do. Um, it's in a reasonable nick. A little bit yellow, but not too bad. And I'm going to show you it. It's had a custom BIOS fitted. I'm going to show you it booting up from this card. So there's nothing inside. The GD-ROM drive is still there. Although on this particular one, it's not really usable because um, the custom BIOS that is installed on there is the no GD-ROM one. If you wanted to, you could change it out, reflash the chip, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be selling it as boot from hard drive. Um, but I'm going to use a compact flash adapter like that. So on this one, it takes five volts here. And ground there. You need a compact flash adapter, which can be set into slave mode or a ID hard drive, which you can set into slave mode. Right, there we go. So I've attached the compact flash adapter to the back. I'm keeping this compact flash adapter, that's not included. You can, I'll stick a link on eBay. You can buy one of those, um, or you could just use a regular hard drive with a power supply. The nice thing is that it takes power from the Dreamcast. Right, so nothing inside there, because this bootloader is um, on the BIOS. That's why I replaced that BIOS. Okay, let's come back here so you can see the screen. There you can see the uh, dev kit animation. Boot straight into Dream Shell. Can I play one-handed? I can't even play it properly two-handed. No. Right, so you get the idea. There you are. Hard drive, bootable Dreamcast on the cheap. Thank you.